I'm here with Bedros Koulian, founder and CEO of Fit Body Bootcamp. Bedros, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me on the show, Kathy. So Bedros, we hear a lot about your story and the immigrant edge and the American dream. Tell me more about that in detail. Yeah, so a good friend of mine, his name is Rob, he uh, kind of dubbed me the immigrant edge and the American dream. And he said, you know, it's, it's the middle of 2009. We're, we're, we're stuck in one of the greatest recessions our country's ever seen. And you're optimistically making videos to sell products and services. We've got an over 11% unemployment rate. Who's going to buy your products and services? He goes, I'm shocked that we're doing this. And, and you are the immigrant edge. You just have this immigrant mentality that if I make it and if I market it, somebody will buy it. I realized in that moment that there might be something unique in the way that I think and operate. In 1980, we escaped communist Russia, and my dad was a member of the Communist Party, but he wasn't, he wasn't excited to be a member of the Communist Party. So he had raised $25,000 by secretly uh, working on the side, and the intent with that money was to bribe the Russian government so that we can escape. Soviet Union and come to the United States. Now, I was six years old when that happened. When I think back now, that my father was risking his life and he was willing to leave everything behind to come to a country where we were broke, we certainly didn't speak the language, we didn't understand the culture, and we had no place to live. And it was a family of five and I was the baby of the family. I realize now that my father really instilled this immigrant edge mentality in me because even though he was a member of the Communist Party, he wasn't a member by choice. He believed in the American way. He believed in democracy. He believed in freedom and opportunity. And he wanted that so bad for his family that he risked his life to get us here. So over the years, he kind of instilled this message in us, which is that if you serve the people of this country, they will serve you back in whatever goals that you have, whether it's making more money, having more freedom, making a bigger impact, having influence. To me, you know, bad economy, good economy, mediocre economy, none of that matters because I know as long as I have a product that solves a problem and serves a market space that I can, I can create something worthwhile. And that's the immigrant edge mentality. And because of that, I've become the American dream. So would you consider your father as your role model? I do. I consider my father my first original mentor. My family got here on June 16th, 1980. And on June 17th, my sister was washing dishes at a pizzeria. My dad was delivering newspapers uh, in the evenings. And my brother was pumping gas at a gas station. My mom stayed home with, with me. And home, by the way, was a one bedroom of, a, of an apartment that we were allowed to live in. So a gentleman had a two bedroom apartment and he let us borrow one of the bedrooms for a family of five. And he said, you guys can stay here for one month. And so earlier I said, you know, we were poor and broke. And people always ask me, well, what's the difference between poor and broke? Poor is a mindset. And we had a poor mindset. And the mindset was that we, we seemed to run out of money before we run out of month. But I saw my dad and his ability to hustle and his ability to not give up. He solved the problem of poor and he solved the problem of broke. And within 30 days, we had our own apartment. It wasn't anything spectacular. In fact, it was in the slums. Well, sometimes we didn't have money for food. And so my father had discovered that there are dumpsters in the back of grocery stores. And these dumpsters would have food that was expired and thrown out, but it wasn't necessarily bad. Or maybe the bread had a little bit of mold and the cheese had a little bit of mold, but it wasn't necessarily bad. And so my father would, would kind of give me a boost and I'd, I'd go on a treasure hunt in these dumpsters and I'd pull out food that was expired or had slight mold on it and, and my mom would pick off the mold and that's what we would eat for dinner that night. Wow. And so that's a great example of when you don't have the resources, get resourceful. And I still use that mentality today in my business, and I teach it to the coaching clients that I impact and serve on a day-to-day -day basis. Right. So let's talk a little bit more about the business, right? So you started Fit Body Boot Camp. You have grown your franchise to over 525 locations and growing, right? So tell me a little bit about that. What motivated you? What drove you to really start a business in the fitness industry? Sure. Well, you know, it's, it's funny because uh, when you grow up eating food out of dumpsters and then you get government assistant, you don't necessarily get the healthiest food. And growing up, I was 35 pounds overweight in high school. And when you're a foreigner and you dress funny because your family's broke and can't afford clothes yeah. and you're overweight, that's the trifecta of having the odds stacked against you. Mm -hmm. And add to that that we moved around a lot. We got kicked out of lots of apartments when we couldn't afford our rent. And so I went to three elementary schools, 
two junior highs and two high schools. Mm -hmm. And you know, during that time of high school, as you take an interest in, in, in girls, I realized, gee, prom is only one year away, senior year. And so I committed to working out and figuring out how to eat right, and I lost the 35 pounds of fat. Now, I came back to school senior year, and I was in better shape, and all of a sudden, I went from being invisible to visible. I had more self-esteem, more confidence. Uh, the other students were talking to me, and I really felt confident that when, as prom got closer, I was going to ask uh, this girl named Nakaya to the prom. Unfortunately, I didn't have the confidence to ask her out to the prom, so I never did go to the prom. But the fact that prom was coming up, and that was my catalyst for losing weight and getting in shape, changed my entire perspective on what my path was going to be mm -hmm. in life. And I decided that I'm going to be a personal trainer after high school and really become a coach to people who have weight to lose so that they can become their, be their best selves. And as a byproduct of that, you know, I was a one-on-one -on -one personal trainer. One-on-one -on -one personal training is pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. Really, only the elite can afford one-on-one -on -one personal training. Because when you're talking $700 to $1,000 per month, that's not something that everybody can afford. Mm -hmm. Now, the alternative to that was you can go and get a gym membership and probably pay, you know, $39, $49 a month. But you only have access to the gym, you have access to equipment, you don't necessarily get the results. No one is going to call you and follow up if you didn't go to your workout. No one's going to do monthly fitness assessments like a personal trainer would. So a gym gives you access, but it is affordable. A personal trainer gives you results, but is awfully expensive. And so I saw that there was this massive gap between people who could afford personal training and those who wanted personal training but could only afford a gym membership. And I said, what if we can actually do personal training in a group environment? And this is how Fit Body Bootcamp was born. If high-level coaches can work with elite athletes on a team, say the uh, NFL teams or NBA teams, couldn't we as personal trainers and coaches work with people who have weight to lose, who want to build a lifestyle of health and fitness in a group environment and therefore bring the cost of personal training down? And that's exactly what we've done. So, so these days, the cost of personal training is about the, the cost of a coffee. Between 5 to $7 a day gets you access to a Fit Body Bootcamp location where we train you up to five days a week. You have a certified coach who puts you through the workouts. No two workouts are ever the same. No matter your fitness level, you will get a workout that challenges your body, but it's not intimidating. It's a group environment, so you make friends and you have a community. If you're ever needing motivation, accountability, or support, we're there to reach out to you and get you right back in. We track your goals with monthly fitness evals. And of course, we top all that off with making sure that you have a positive mindset so that we don't self-sabotage our progress. And then we, of course, follow that up with nutrition coaching, right? We break the bad habits of, of bad eating habits and we install new eating habits with our clients. And so I've really taken the whole idea behind one-on-one -on -one personal training and I've brought it down to a group environment. And we now have, as you said, well over 500 locations in just a matter of five years. And we're adding an average of 15 to 20 new locations per month on the global map, which is really exciting. And we've hit the Inc. 5000 list twice. So with the fitness industry booming, as you know, there's so much competition out there, right? Yeah. You've got your big box gyms, your small box gyms, your boutique gyms, your MMA studios. So what makes Fit Body Bootcamp different? That's a really good question. With Fit Body Bootcamp, we just do one thing and we do it better than anybody else. And that one thing is 30 minute fat loss workouts that are fun, high energy, deliver results and are perfect for any fitness level. You know, we don't have a juice bar, we don't have showers, we don't have barbells, we don't have equipment that are intimidating. The equipment that we have is functional equipment mm -hmm. that professional athletes use to get better at their sports. We use it to tone the body and burn body fat and put our clients into what's known as afterburn. And afterburn is a specific way of working out that really gives you twice the calorie burn results in half the time, which is why our workouts are only 30 minutes long. Mm -hmm. We understand that people are busy. We understand that we don't have much time anymore with families and work. And so I found a way where if you can work out three to four days a week, mm -hmm. 30 minutes at a time at a Fit Body Boot Camp, you will have the body that you want. So do you guys have a target demographic? We do. We do have a target demographic. And our target demographic typically ends up being women between the ages of 26 and all the way up to 65, 70 years old. In fact, we created Fit Body Forever for aging adults and baby boomers because we found that there was no fitness program out there serving them correctly. The nearest 
fitness program that even came close to serving baby boomers and aging adults was a program that required them to stay seated and use dumbbells to do curls and, 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 and arm raises. Well, the reality is that if you're an aging adult, the thing you would need most is balance, power, and strength. You know, as you lose balance, you tend to fall. And we always hear about aging adults and, and baby boomers falling and breaking an arm or a hip. Mm -hmm. So we created the Fit Body Forever program in, in conjunction with the Functional Aging Institute so that we can have a program that not only helps baby boomers and aging adults stay functional, so they can live on their own longer, enjoy the things that they love to do like hiking and mountain biking and traveling and playing with their grandchildren, but it also gives them power, strength, flexibility and balance so that they can live their day-to-day -day life without ever feeling like they need assistance at home. Mm -hmm. So you talked about the high intensity interval training, right? It works, right? It does. How do we know that? That's a good question. There's actually science behind it and the science is called EPOC, excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. The easier way to think of it is afterburn. And afterburn simply means this, that if I were to take someone to the gym and put them on a treadmill or an elliptical machine and get them to their target heart rate zone on that machine for 30 or 40 minutes, true, they're burning fat and they're burning calories, but their metabolism quickly comes back to normal and they're no longer burning an additional amount of calories. Mm -hmm. What the afterburn effect does, it really puts your body in the state in just 30 minutes where you're not only burning excess calories during those 30 minute workout sessions, but because you're in an afterburn state, for as much as 36 hours post-exercise, you still have an elevated metabolism and you're burning additional calories on top of what your normal metabolism burns. And so when you really think about it, you're getting the most bang for your buck that's science-backed by doing the EPOC training or high intensity interval training, which is afterburn. And so why would anyone go to the gym and do steady state cardio when they can do high intensity interval training, especially the Fit Body Bootcamp method where we compress it all down into 30 minutes and give you twice the results in half the time. And then we allow your body to burn more calories once you leave the gym. Love it. So who are your competitors? Many people ask me, you know, who are your competitors? Is it the big box gyms? Is it the other boutique gyms? Is it the infomercials on TV? And the reality is my competitors are none of those organizations. My competitors are, are the fast food restaurants. They are the potato chip companies. They are the soda companies. They are the candy bar companies that are force feeding people so much junk that obesity is at an alarming rate. And the way I look at it is I'm not competing against other gyms or other fitness programs. I'm competing against fast food restaurants and soda companies that are marketing so cleverly that they are getting people to overeat, overconsume on sugars, fats, and bad carbohydrates that are causing diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. So I go into a Fit Body Boot Camp, I do a trial, I enjoy the workout. What's the pricing like? That's a good question. And so people always ask me, you know, what does Fit Body Bootcamp cost? And quite honestly, my, my best answer for that is a lot cheaper than you think. And the reason is we made a program that's affordable and convenient. Now, previously, if you worked with a one-on-one -on -one personal trainer, you might pay as much as $700 to just over $1,000 per month to work with that trainer one-on-one. -on -one. And even if you have the money to work with that trainer, if you want to work out at 9 a.m. three days a week, and that trainer's schedule is full at 9 a.m., then you either have to come earlier or later. And so in creating Fit Body Bootcamp, I had two things in mind, and that was affordability and convenience. And so what we did is we said, well, if we can train up to 25, 30 people at a time, then we can certainly make it convenient. I mean, we can literally get one trainer, one coach to run a workout program that's effective and delivers results in 30 minutes and can train up to 25, 30 people at a time at the same time, whether it's 9 a.m. or 5 a.m. Or, or 5 p.m. after work, right? But I also wanted it to be affordable. And now we knew that the only way we can make this affordable is to do a one-on-many program. And so instead of one-on-one -on -one where personal training costs as much as $700 to $1,000 or more, mm -hmm. right now, you know, you would end up paying somewhere between five and $8 a day to work out in a Fit Body Boot Camp, which averages out between 155 to maybe $197 a month. 
and that gives you the personal training up to five days a week. I mean, you literally get unlimited personal training in your Fit Body Bootcamp location. You get monthly fitness devals, nutrition coaching and programming, unlimited motivation, accountability, and support. And that is why we don't sell access to equipment. We're known for selling the outcome, the results that our clients want. And we back it up with a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. And I don't know of any other fitness gym or boutique fitness center that offers a money-back guarantee like that. So your model, your business model, all franchise owned. Correct. So what does it take to own a Fit Body Bootcamp? Good question. So what it takes to own a Fit Body Bootcamp is really two simple things. A person has to have a passion for fitness and they have to have a desire to want to help people. And the reason is you might start another business model because financially it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And you don't necessarily have to be passionate about sandwiches to start a sandwich franchise. You just know that it's a business model that financially makes sense and you might have two, three, or four sandwich franchises, and that's okay. But where fitness is concerned, we want our owners to be in it. And to be in it, you have to be passionate about fitness, it has to be part of your lifestyle, and you have to be the type of person who likes to serve. In other words, who wants to help people achieve an outcome. And if you're willing to do those two things, or if you are cut from that cloth, then the profit margins work themselves out because Fit Body Bootcamp locations have amazing profit margins. They're tremendously low cost, to build out and start up, and they're easy to market. And the greatest thing about a Fit Body Bootcamp location is your clients are paying you automatically month after month on recurring payment. And there's not too many businesses that really allow you to get a client and then charge them on a recurring basis. And Fit Body Bootcamp is one of the few that, have a, that has a high profit margin and allows you to do that with all of your clients. And so when you think about the average Fit Body Bootcamp that has you know, 270 to 350 clients, and has, is charging somewhere between $155 to $197 a month, you can see how quickly you can make a $300,000 a year business. And with profit margins ranging between 25 and 35%, I mean, you are taking a nice chunk of change home. But again, this is not the type of business where someone would just come in because they want to run a business that's high profit. We want our owners, our investors, to be passionate about fitness and have a desire to serve. And if they have those two things, then they are going to become amazing entrepreneurs and have a business model that has a massive impact in their communities. So as a franchisee, what can I expect? How do I know I'm gonna be successful? People always ask us, you know, can you guarantee that I can be successful? And the truth is we can't guarantee anybody's success, but I can tell you this, we have one of the highest success rates of all franchises worldwide. And the reason for that is, is we believe in fanatical support. But more than that, we stack the odds in your favor from the get-go. We don't charge you a ridiculously high amount to buy into our franchise. We have a low franchise buy-in fee. We also don't charge you a percentage of your monthly gross revenues. Now, I know most franchises will charge you somewhere between six and 8% royalties every single month of your gross revenues. Well, when you really do the math that way, if, if your location was making $20,000 a month, 6% is $1,200 a month. And then as your revenue grows to $30,000 a month, that same 6%, now you're paying me $1,500 a month, $300 more for effectively no reason. And what I found is when I, when I researched the franchise industry, by charging a percentage as a royalty fee, the franchisor is really creating an adversarial relationship with the franchisee. And that's not what I wanted. And so I said, we're gonna keep our franchise fees low and we're gonna keep our royalty fees flat and predictable. And when they go to open up a second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on location, we're gonna charge you half of what you originally paid to get on board with us. Best of all, there's no hidden fees, there's no hidden marketing fees, and there's no hidden, hidden assessment fees that other franchises might offer to kind of beef up the money they make. The way we look at it is, if I can give you a done-for-you business model that generates you leads, is automated and systematic, and we give you fanatical support, and we charge you a fair price, that you're gonna open up more locations over and over again. And this is why over 25% of our owners are multi-outlet location owners, and we're really proud of that fact. So many franchises fail. What makes you guys so different? So many franchises do fail, and that's because the franchisor does not deliver the fanatical support that they should. And quite honestly, even though the Federal Trade Commission does oversee franchisors, they have rules and regulations, and if you end up having so many failed locations, then the Federal Trade Commission, from what I understand, does not allow you to open up more franchise locations. Well, I think they can tighten those regulations down. Quite frankly, we've taken that upon ourselves and we keep a very tight ship. 
Now, currently we have a 2% failure rate, which is unheard of. Now, that doesn't mean that Fit Body Bootcamp failed. That simply means that from time to time you bring on owners who simply didn't follow the instructions, didn't follow the plan, or had a life issue or disaster happen where they had to abandon ship. That happens, we get it, we understand. But even those 2%, really keep me awake at night. And my goal is always to deliver fanatical support, to be there every step of the way, which is why we've made it our mission to exceed expectations. I don't know of any other franchise that automatically gives you an in-house business coach so that when you become a Fit Body Bootcamp franchisee, you're not having to make decisions yourself. You come out here to beautiful Chino Hills, California. You spend four days with us at the Fit Body Bootcamp University. You spend three days here at our headquarters learning the systems, the business, the marketing, the sales, the, the staffing, and the growth of your business. You spend a full day at a Fit Body Bootcamp location and you learn how to coach and mentor clients. And that's very important. We also have a nutrition certification that we offer absolutely free. We have a coaching certification that we offer absolutely free. And our business coaches are here around the clock to help our owners with any decision that they have to make, whether it's finding a new territory, building out a location, hiring or firing staff, new marketing plans and, and strategies. We do so much of the heavy lifting for our franchisees that we have all, almost all but eliminated the failure rate. And all we ask for our, for our owners to do is to follow up on the service, deliver great results, ask for referrals, and you will build a local brand that cannot be competed against. So Vedras, I've heard you say this over and over again about serving, right? Tell me a little bit about your mission, Fit Body Bootcamp's mission. Sure, yeah, we, we are on a mission here, and I, I do believe that, that everyone needs to pay it forward. Maybe that's just how my father raised me, and that's just the expectation I have on, on the franchisees that we get, but I like to lead from the front. And so our mission is to help 100 million people worldwide by the year 2025 through fitness, nutrition, and a positive mindset, because I understand that if you can educate society on what they're doing, and what they're doing is wrong. You can really teach them how to do it right. And so that's our big mission. Now, in addition to that, of course, we, we donate money to Shriners Children's Hospitals and Toys for Tots and the Lone Survivor Foundation for our military veterans. And every Fit Body Bootcamp location out there has a cause, a local cause as well. And so we really teach our Fit Body Bootcamp owners that when you become successful, that you do have a, a duty and an obligation to pay it forward and have this lifelong way of serving. Tell me a little bit more about the veterans program. Yeah, our veterans program is, is really neat. And, and of course, I told you about the immigrant edge story and, mm -hmm. and of course how we escaped a communist country and came to the United States. So I really value the freedoms that we have and I, and I value the liberty that we have. And I understand that it's not, it's not free and it's not just there for us to take and that it's protected by not only our constitution, but by our military men and women. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it, it just makes sense that the only way we can serve our veterans when they come out of the military is to help them, help them become Fit Body Bootcamp trainers. And we will certify them for free, both in nutrition certification and coaching certification, so they can go inside of a Fit Body Bootcamp and work as a coach and have a career. And so another thing we do for our veterans who come into civilian life and want to become entrepreneurs is we offer them a 25% discount on our franchise buy-in fee mm -hmm. and this really helps them not only become assimilated to civilian life but they become entrepreneurs where now they're serving in another capacity and they're able to help their local community burn fat build more muscle tone increase their confidence and really live healthier happier lives so I've heard Fit Body Boot Camp is known as the anti-franchise franchise what does that mean yeah so uh, it's an interesting way how we got that name the anti-franchise franchise, franchise. And, and, and I don't remember which big business magazine it was but in a, in a particular article that they wrote about us, they said we're the anti-franchise franchise. And they went on to say that we do franchising differently. We don't charge a ridiculous buy-in fee that we give half off for future locations. Uh, we don't have a percentage-based royalty fee. We have a flat, predictable you know, monthly royalty fee, no matter how much you make. And of course, we don't have any hidden fees that we don't fee our franchisees to death. And so they said, you know, Fit Body Bootcamp is emerging as the anti-franchise franchise. And I really took that as a badge of honor. I think we're going to run with this. And so I said, how else can we become the anti-franchise franchise? And to me, one way was to deliver fanatical support. We're not just going to meet the expectations of our franchisees. We're going to exceed their expectations. Today, we, we literally create the brands that they're going to put on their shirts. 
And it used to be that we would just say, hey, here's new logos that you can go have shirts made. Now we make the shirts and we ship it out to them. We make the protein shaker cups, we make the towels, we, we do it all. And the more heavy lifting we do here at the headquarters means the more time they have to not focus on the trivial stuff, but focus on the big stuff, like training their clients, making money, and making an impact in their community. And so to me, the anti-franchise franchise moniker was a badge of honor, and we do everything we can to exceed expectations and do everything different than what typical franchises do. And would you say that one of the reasons why you guys provide all of that fanatical support is because you want your owners to own multiple locations and not just one and have one be unsuccessful? That's exactly it. We do have our hidden agenda and our hidden agenda is we want our owners to have multiple locations. I'd rather have 3,000 Fit Body Bootcamp locations worldwide with only, let's say, a thousand owners. And the reason for that is if I have a thousand dedicated, committed, hard charging owners who each have three locations apiece, I can serve a thousand people better than I could ever serve 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. And so the idea here is that we want to hyper focus on the type of owners that we want to get. We're very picky about the owners that we bring on board with Fit Body Bootcamp and the expectations we have for them. We have high expectations that they can hold us to, but we hold our owners to high expectations as well. And because of that, we've got an amazing symbiotic relationship. It's There's nothing adversarial about it. They share our vision and every single one of our owners come in with the intention to open up multiple locations. And as we stay on that path, we're going to make a massive impact over the years to come. So what's the acceptance rate? Our acceptance rate right now is about 4%. So in other words, 4% of the folks who fill out an expression of interest form ever become a Fit Body Bootcamp owner. Now, we're not here to be snooty. We're not here to build a velvet rope around Fit Body Bootcamp. Mm -hmm. We just know the type of owners who do best and who make the biggest impact. And so we take our time to vet out the prospects and we make sure that the people that we bring on board really represent Fit Body Bootcamp well and can deliver the service and the expectations that we have. And the reason for that is, Listen, Fit Body Bootcamp is a very high profiting business model. It is a very lucrative business model for franchisees to own. And so we understand that it does attract a lot of potential owners who want to park their money inside of a Fit Body Bootcamp location and raise more money, right? Because of the high profit margins. But because of that, we have to be more protective. And as I said earlier, if, if we can sense that they don't have a passion for fitness and they don't have a desire to serve, then we would as soon steer them towards another franchise versus working with us. I love that. I love that. So if we're sitting here a year from now, celebrating our accomplishments, what are we celebrating? Really what we're celebrating is we're celebrating our 1200th Fit Body Bootcamp location that's opened. We're celebrating the million dollar toy drive that we had for Toys for Tots. We're celebrating the fact that we've already given uh, Shriners Children's Hospital $2 million. And we're celebrating the 100,000 pound weight loss that we've generated across the United States. And to me, those are all big things and worthy of celebrating because again, it is a service driven empire that we're building here. And so if we can help people with weight loss, if we can help people in charities with causes that we believe in, and we can make a massive impact on this planet, then I think our job is done.